Chief, tell me about that guy on Main Street. Oh, I says, John, you remember that, huh? This fellow's only about, he just about made the force. He's about five feet seven. He's, I don't know how he got yeah, out. Pretty sure, yeah. We got a call one hot summer night on Main Street in Paris at about midnight. There's a gang of people, they used to sit on a sidewalk, you know, with chairs on the sidewalk and everything. And we got a call, a family feud, family fight or something. So we pull up there. Here's this big guy, six foot two. You're about almost your height. Mm -hmm. You're about six feet three, I guess. Six four, yeah. Six four, yeah. Well, at that time, we used to have a lot of diamond grubbers on the porch. Quite a few guys are putting the diamond grubs in the state, you know, it came out of force. Mm -hmm. Well, I said, John and I met a diamond grubber one night. I said, as soon as we walked up to him, he took a swing at John and knocked his hat off. <laughs> I hit him square in the chin. I had a powder puff in my hand. Oh, my God. <laughs> knocked him out cold. I guess he went down quick. <laughs> knocked him out cold. He was on the, floor, on the ground until the wagon came. <laughs> Don, a powder puff. <laughs> <laughs> so what's exactly a powder puff? Well, it's a thing that fits over your fingers, packed with cement or sand. Leather. That close. Leather. Yeah. Leather, right? I want to tell you, passion was tough. Yeah, you know. Nobody knew I had that, though. Well, I put it in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> well, he knew after that. <laughs> well, he was defending himself. Well, I run. I had the reputation of being the only one that ever had to shoot a horse in Patterson. <laughs> what? A horse? What? Uh, I was only a young sergeant and a farmer. We have a farmer's market in South Patterson. All the farmers bring all their produce over there and sell them. You can go retail or wholesale. This particular morning, it's about 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I was only a young sergeant. That, that goes by quite a bit. There weren't many horses around, but this poor farmer had his horse and wagon to bring his produce to the market about a half a mile down. The horse got hit by a car. So two veteran cops get on the radio, Sarge, can you come down here? So I go down there. You know, the horse is wounded. What are we going to do? I was on the pistol team then. I remember reading in a book of drawing imaginary X between the eyes. So I got to the poor horse, put a shot into him. The horse leaped up around that much and flat on his back. Oh, poor oh man. Oh, that'd be sad. The Did poor you? farmer started to cry. I bet. I went over there and tried to console him. You know, he's only, uh, God knows, he, he wasn't a big dealer. You know, wasn't a big farmer. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, he'd have had a truck. Well, they shot all the mm. horses that 